Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to jailbreak your Nintendo Wii U. And we're going to be doing this on system version 5.5.6, which is only in the US. If you're outside the US, it'll be 5.5.5, but this guide should work the same for both. But with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right into it on the Wii U. Okay, so now that we're on the gamepad, there's two things that we're going to want to check on. So to start off, let's go ahead and open up the system settings icon. So pretty much the only thing we need from this page is just to verify that we're on version 5.5.6. You can see that in the top right corner of the screen. Uh, if you're not, you can connect your console to the internet and perform a system update if your console isn't jailbroken already. And um, we're going to need the internet up and running on the console anyways to get the VUE all homebrewed up. So that's it for the tablet. We can go ahead and head over to the PC and start messing with the SD card. So to get things started on the computer, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is our SD card. You can see I already have mine open here and if I right click this and go to format, you can see in the file system it says XFAT. We want this to be in FAT32. The reason mine isn't is because I'm using a 128 gigabyte card. If you're using anything under 32 gigabytes, you should be able to do it through here. But if not, you're gonna need a special program like what I have here. So if I just click this image, it's gonna download the FAT32 format GUI tool. And I'm gonna show in folder and just open this up. This program does not like to run with other windows open. So if you have any other file windows, just go ahead and close those before you start. The next thing you're gonna do, it's gonna ask you for your drive letter. I know mine is drive F and you can see it says XFAT right here. So I know that's correct. It also says volume label SD. If you are going to name this, make sure it just says SD. Don't name it Wii U SD or anything along the lines of that because it can interfere with the homebrew process. Uh, quick format is OK, and then we're just going to hit the start button. It's going to say all data will be lost on the card by formatting. Just hit OK again. And that's it for formatting the card. So we can just go ahead and hit close. And now we can start messing with the actual applications we're going to need to install Teramisu. So speaking of which, we need the latest files for Teramisu for your cafe. We click that, just hit download Teramisu. We're going to go back and we're also going to grab the latest release of the SIG patch module. And this is going to be the RPX file. Now that that's done, we can just open up our SD card here and then open up our downloads. And what we're gonna do is right click this environment loader zip, go to extract to, and then we can delete the zip file. We're gonna open up the environment loader folder, and we're gonna drag these two files that are in here onto the root of our SD card. After that, we're gonna open up the Wii U folder on the SD card, the environments folder, Teramisu, modules, setup, and then on the downloads folder, we're going to grab the SIG patch RPX file and we're going to drag that right into this folder. If you get a message that says, are you sure you want to copy this file without its properties? Just hit yes. Nothing bad's going to happen from that. And that's pretty much it on the PC for now. We can go ahead and take the SD card out and head back over to the Wii U. All right. And we're back on the tablet. Now, the first thing we're going to do on here is open up our Internet browser. And what we're going to be doing is utilizing a hack built in through the website wiuexploit.xyz. So let me just go ahead and type this in. Now, once you search this, you're going to be taken to a website that has an option to run exploit. All we want to do is just click on that. And then immediately after we press it, hold down the B button until we get a change in the screen. And now you'll see we have an option to choose our payload. What we're actually going to be doing here is performing a NAND dump. And that's because just in case something goes wrong during this homebrew installation, we'll have our NAND dump to go back and try to fix everything. Granted, nothing will probably happen, but it's still good practice to do so. So go ahead and press A on the NAND dumper. And everything should already be pre-selected. If not, just make sure your screen looks like mine. And once it does, just press the A button. 
And now we are going through the NAND dump process. This can take anywhere from about five to 10 minutes. So I'll just go ahead and skip to when this is done. All right, once the NAND dump is complete, it should have automatically restarted your console. So let's go ahead and open up the internet browser one more time because we need to utilize that browser hack. So after you head back over to the Wii U exploit page, go ahead and hit run exploit again. Now this time after you run it, you're gonna hold down the X button until we get a change in the screen. Last time it was the B button, this time it's the X button. Now what this is going to do is bring us to our environment loader so we can actually install Teramisu. So go up and select the installer and give this a second to load up. And it's gonna say, welcome to the payloader installer. Do you want to check to see if an installation is possible? Hit check. And then we're gonna select the option for install slash update. And then we're gonna select the install button. It's gonna say backing up files. Preloader was successfully installed. Press A to shut down the console. So once the console shuts down and you turn it back on again, you should be able to open up the health and safety application in order to launch Teramisu. But before we do that, we're gonna open the health and safety application. And once we open it, we're gonna immediately hold down the X button once again. And this should take us back to the environment loader. What we're gonna do right now is basically make Teramisu auto boot into its custom firmware. That way it doesn't run on stock Wii U settings every time we turn on the console. So let's go ahead and select the installer again. Let that load up. You're gonna select check. And this time you're gonna go into boot options. Inside here, you're just gonna select switch to payloader. And after that, it's gonna say boot title successfully updated. Press A to shut down the console. And once it shuts down, we're just gonna restart it again. All right, once the console restarts, it should auto boot you into the environment loader. Now, what we wanna do here is just select some default settings. So go down to Teramisu and press the Y button. That'll make Teramisu the default environment. And then we're gonna press A to open Teramisu. And then it's gonna ask you your boot selection and you can have it auto boot into the homebrew launcher, the VWE or the Wii U menu. We're gonna do the Wii U menu. So I'm gonna hit the Y button on that as well. And then press the A button to continue. And we are all set. We now have custom firmware running on our Wii U. Now there are a couple more things we wanna do like set up some basic homebrew applications and as well mod our VWE. You can skip the VWE if you don't have a Wiimo or anything like that, but I will be covering it in this video. So let's go ahead and head back over to the PC because we're gonna grab a few more files. So once you're back on the PC and you open up your SD card, you're gonna notice you have four new files here. You have an OTP bin, CPROM bin, basically four bin files. You're gonna take these from your SD card and copy them over to your PC. You can put them wherever you'd like. We're just staging these for safekeeping. Now, once the transfer is complete, you can go ahead and delete these files off of your SD card to save some space. And heading back over to the guide, you can see we have a couple more applications to install here, but we are also gonna be covering blocking updates. This doesn't happen to everybody, but for the very few, I will be helping you out with this one. So if we open up the blocking updates tab, we're gonna have to download an application called UF, UFDine. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, UFDine. But uh, if we open this up, we're gonna select the zip file. Let me go ahead and go back. That's all we're gonna need for now. And then we can go ahead and grab these three homebrew applications. The Save Me Mod, which is a uh, homebrew app that lets you manage your Wii U and VWE save data. You have Blue Pair, which allows you to pair other USB remotes to your console. And then you have the Homebrew App Store, which is an app store for downloading other Homebrew applications. So let's go ahead and click on Blue Pair now. And we're gonna select the zip. I'm gonna go back and we're gonna go to the Homebrew App Store. And we're gonna scroll down and select the Wii U Extract OSD.zip. And we should be all set with this. The next thing we're gonna do while we're here is also grab the VWE downloads. Now, again, if you don't have a Wiimo, you don't care about the VWE, you can skip this step. Um, but I'm just gonna grab the VWE Compat installer. And we're gonna grab this .elf file. And we're gonna go back. We're gonna grab this patched iOS 80 installer for VWE. 
and then we're going to grab the D2X CIOS installer. After that's done, we can go ahead and just open up our SD card as well as our downloads and we'll start setting up our file structure. So to start off, we have a bunch of zip files. Let's go ahead and unpack those. So I'm just going to highlight every zip file that we have, right click and go to extract each archive to separate folder. Once that happens, you can go ahead and delete all the zips just to kind of clean up this area. So the first thing on the list is our Compat installer. So if we go on our SD card and open up our Wii U folder, and then we go into apps, we can go ahead and toss the Compat installer right in there. And it's gonna ask you if you can copy without its properties, just hit yes, no problem should come from that. And then we're gonna head back over to the root of the SD card. Next, we have our patched iOS 80 installer. If we open this up, you're gonna see we have an apps folder in here. We do not have an apps folder yet on our SD card, so we can just drag this whole folder right onto the root of our SD. And once you do that, we can open our apps folder and you see we have our patched iOS 80 installer and inside that has the boot.dol file. So if we back up here, we're also gonna head back to our downloads. We're gonna go to the D2X CIOS installer and we're gonna grab this and throw this into the apps folder as well. And again, if I open this, you'll notice we have the boot.dol file. So I'm gonna back up here and we're gonna head back over to the root of our SD and head back to our downloads. Now we have the Wii U Extract OSD and you can see all that's in here is just a Wii U folder. You can drag this onto the root of your SD card and it should merge with your other Wii U folder. Head back again and we're gonna open up Blue Pair. Now we have two files here. So to start off, let's go with the RPX file. To do this, we need to open up the Wii U folder, go into Environments, Teramisu, Modules, Setup, and then throw bluepair.rpx with all the other RPX files on the folder. Then we're gonna go ahead and head back over to the root of the SD again, and we're gonna drag our Wii U folder once again onto the root of our SD, and it should merge with the other ones. Heading back into the downloads, what else do we have? We have the save me mod. If I open this up, we have three files here. And once again, we can highlight all three and just throw them on the root of our SD card. Go back again and we have UF Dyne. And this one, once again, is just a Wii U folder. Drag that onto the root of your SD and head back to downloads again. And I think that should be it for now. So we can go ahead and take the SD card out and head back over to the Wii U. Okay, and we're back on the console. So now that we have auto boot all set up on the Wii U, if we just go into the Mi Maker, it should auto boot into the homebrew launcher. So once it opens up, you're gonna see all the applications that we put on here. And if we go over to the right, we're gonna start off with UF Dyne. So I'm gonna go ahead and press A on this to open it and then hit load. And this is for blocking updates on our console. Now you can see I have a folder that says update folder exists. Press the A button to delete the update folder. We're gonna do just that. So press A to delete. And it's gonna say update folder is deleted. Press home to exit. And it's really as simple as that. Once that update folder is deleted, you won't have to worry about that anymore. And you can even remove the application from your SD card later, should you choose so. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is start messing with the VWE. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Compat installer. Once I open this up, this is what's gonna install the homebrew channel. And right here it says press A to install the homebrew channel to the Wii menu. So I'm gonna press the A button and it's all done. So hit home to exit and we should be all set. So let's go ahead and navigate over to our VWE. All right, and once the VWE is started up, you're gonna notice the homebrew channel is already installed, which is fantastic. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this up and hit start. And we have two applications on here now. We have the CIOS installer and the patched iOS 80 installer. We're gonna be doing the CIOS installer first and doing this is what's gonna make playing games from a USB device later on easier for you should you choose to do so. So I'm gonna open up the CIOS installer and hit load and just give it a moment to start up. Just press A to continue. And there's three CIOSs that we're gonna be doing today. So starting with the first option where it says select CIOS, we're gonna go over to the right and select D2X V11 Beta 1 VWE. Right underneath where it says the base, we're gonna leave it at 56. And for the slot, we're gonna leave it as is at 249 and just press A to continue. 
and let this download. This will probably take about maybe a minute or two per CIOS, so just uh, be patient. Once it's done, it's gonna say press A to continue, which we're gonna do. And now we're gonna leave the first option the same, but we're gonna change the base to 57 and the slot to 250. And then we're gonna hit A to continue once again. Just let this run through, and then we're gonna be doing it one more time after this. And press A to continue again. And we're gonna change the base one last time, this time to 58, and the slot to 251, and press A to continue. And once we're all done, you can see it says press A to continue or B to exit. This time we're gonna be doing B to exit. This is gonna take us back to the homebrew channel, and then we can select our patch iOS 80 installer. So go ahead and open that up and press load. And it's gonna give you this big warning message that's gonna want you to read. It even says down at the bottom, read the big warning above for 30 seconds before continuing. So it actually makes you wait. So just give this a moment before we can continue. And once it's ready, it's gonna say press any button to continue. I'm gonna press the A button. Let this install, it should be pretty fast. And it's done, it's gonna say press any button to exit. I'm gonna press the A button. And we are all set with our VUE. So let's head back over to the Wii U menu because there's one last thing we're gonna cover before we finish things up here. So now that we're back on the Wii U main menu, we can go ahead and open up the Mii Maker. This is gonna start up the homebrew launcher again for us. So just give this a second to load up. And while we're here, we're gonna take a look at the homebrew app store because I just wanna show you guys what you can do with this for those of you who don't know already about this. And once it starts up, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's kind of all categorized on the left side here. If we go into games, for example, you're going to see we have one homebrew game, which is pretty cool. We can go into emulators. We have a retro arch emulator set up here. I actually have a video on this as well for anyone who's interested. Uh, we can go into tools. There's a lot in here like disk to app, which covers backing up your disks. There are other programs. I believe WUD is the only one that works right now. Uh, if we go into advanced, you have theme me. This is for installing custom themes. I have a video on this as well. And then lastly, we have miscellaneous and there is a ton of things in miscellaneous for you to look through. So I just wanted to show you guys this application so you can honestly just get a good feel for everything and look around and see what piques your interest. So that's pretty much it from me. You should be all set to go now on your Wii U and your VWi. So I will see you guys in the next video and let me know in the comment sections if you guys run into any problems. I'll catch you guys later. Adios.